hey everyone this is the third video in the series of videos to create and set up a character in unreal engine and in this part i'm going to show you how you can set up the materials of the clothing assets which we created in the second part so by materials what i mean is to set up the textures or the surface of the um, assets which we are using and the materials basically apply to all of the 3d objects in the entire level or in the entire project which you are working so in this video i'm going to do that for the clothing assets which we imported into our project which are these ones and let me just first run this project to show you what we did in the first two videos in the first part we um, worked on the animation the walk animation of this character and in the second part we created and um, imported the clothing assets from daz studio and then we created blueprints to apply those clothing assets onto this character and also these clothing assets will work with any kind of animations which we have applied on this character so in this third part I'm going to show you how we can properly set up the materials of these clothing items so I'm just going to first open up the let's say let's open this one the mesh of um, these boxer shorts what you can see is um, the texture or the material is pretty shiny there is no 3d information there is no roughness applied to this texture this is because when we imported this mesh then unreal engine only imported a single texture and it applied that texture onto this mesh so i'm just going to open up any kind of let's say you know what let's open this one there are actually several different parts of this mesh as you can see over here and all of these meshes have different kinds of uh, materials applied to them for example there are the laces the rings the cloth to etc so we can check what material or what texture is set up by default by simply double clicking on any of these material slots which have been listed over here for the um, individual elements and when we will do that then this window will open up and we can see the exact setup of the materials now what I am going to show you is a pretty simplified version of setting up materials. In reality, setting up materials can be pretty complicated and it will require a lot of hours to spend. Over here there is only a single texture which is being connected with the base color node and all of these other nodes like roughness and specularity and um, you know there is the opacity etc. We don't have the textures or images available to connect to these nodes and I will show you how you can um, set up the complete materials of any asset which you will export from Daz studio so this is the folder in which I exported the character and then um, later using visual studio I um, simply extracted or grabbed the different parts of the clothing assets from the character and saved them separately over here so this is the folder in which there are all the images of the textures which are for all of the clothing assets and also for the character itself and let me just show you what files have been imported when we imported the clothing assets um, there is the there are actually only three images the you know the basic textures for the shirt hat and the shorts but if you will open up this folder then you will see that there are other images too like um, there is the bump map there is the i think this is the this is for specularity and there is also something for i guess transparency etc so what i will do is i will simply import these um, these images which unreal engine didn't import it and i will then show you how you can modify the materials to look them more realistic instead of you know um, looking all shiny and stuff which is not very realistic so let's just do that so what i will just do is over here i will simply import the missing images from this folder and um, i guess the images which we need are first for the um, for the hat and these are the different basic colors and we don't really need them we just need the um, the 
images for the bump map the specularity and also for transparency and then for the shirt also we need the bump map and the specularity similarly for shorts we need this b and s maps um, there could be assets which have many more such kind of files available which can be used to decorate or you know further improve the material of the asset but right now we have to work with what we have so i'm just going to import them all right so these files are imported and the first thing which i will do is i will open up the mesh for these pants and let's just first um, you know what open up this cloth one and you can also i think highlight them to see um, which part they represent so when i'm highlighting them then you can see the cloth one is this one and the cloth two is this part on the sides etc so by doing that you will be able to see which part you are actually setting the materials for and let's just open up this cloth one and this is the base color what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply copy and paste uh, the texture sample and um, i'm going to first get the, the bump map for the shorts and then i'm also going to get the the specularity map and i'm just going to connect them with their respective nodes let's just take it above now i'm going to join this bump map to this roughness but what i have seen is um, this roughness is all shiny and this is not really the case with roughness so what i'm going to do is i'm simply going to um, invert the texture before connecting it to the roughness node you need to check if you really need to invert the texture sample or not depending on the outcome which um, you are seeing in this sample window and this is how it looks now and i'm just going to save it and what we can do is we can again go to the window to see how it looks as compared to the other items and this is how it is looking right now this is the um, this is the cloth one let me just isolate it this is the cloth one for which we just applied the material and this is the um, for comparison this is the this side portion is the cloth too you can clearly see the difference that um, this side portion is all shiny and it is not realistic but this part is looking pretty good so what i will do is i will simply open up this one and i will just copy it and we will do the same thing for all the um, other materials or you know other parts of this asset and um, this is for specularity this is for roughness let's just save it i'm just going to pause the video to apply the materials for all of these different parts and then i will show you the end result so i have set all of the materials and this is the final outcome let's just run the level and see how the material of these shorts will look as compared to the other clothing assets now let's press e and apply outfit one you can see that there is a clear difference between the um, these shorts and these other assets the shirt and hat and the shorts are looking pretty realistic with the light which is um, bouncing off of the surface of the of the shorts but this is not the case with the shirt and head and uh, you can repeat the same process with the shirts and head too so that's pretty much it for this video guys and i hope that you will understand the contents of this video if you have any questions then feel free to use the comments area and I will see you in the next one. Till then, have a great day.